Back now with new developments in Russia's war in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky plans to replace his defense minister as the country's in the midst of a major counteroffensive. ABC's Justin Finch has the latest. As Ukraine approaches its second year at war with Russia after Vladimir Putin's invasion of his country, Ukrainian President Zelensky making a significant leadership change to his military. In an address to his nation, Zelensky announced he's firing Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov. The change comes as Ukraine is locked in a bloody counteroffensive with Russian troops and amid a military recruitment scandal where Zelensky recently fired all of Ukraine's regional military recruiters, accusing them of accepting bribes and abusing their power. A major development also expected on the battlefield. Sources tell ABC News the next U.S. aid package to Ukraine will likely include depleted uranium rounds, which are munitions that can be fired from American Abrams tanks and are due to arrive soon. It's very effective as an anti-tank munition. Though some groups criticize using these kinds of munitions, the UN's nuclear watchdog saying there's no proof it poses a radiological hazard to populations. Meanwhile, in Sochi, Russia, Russian President Vladimir Putin welcoming Turkey's President Erdogan. The two leaders set to discuss the ongoing war in Ukraine and reviving the deal between Moscow and Kyiv, allowing Ukraine to ship its grains and agricultural goods through the Russian-controlled Black Sea. Russia backed out of that agreement in July. Hours before the two leaders met, Russian forces again slammed Ukrainian grain warehouses in Odessa. In recent days, Ukrainian forces have made advances in the south, while Russian troops have escalated attacks in the eastern region. Ukraine's President Zelensky expecting parliament could approve his new defense minister as soon as the end of the week. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.